How is she going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Well, uh, is it cold enough for you? <laughs> it's a beautiful day here today, central Nova Scotia at the camp here on the lake. Look at that, boys. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? No, sir. It's cold, though. Anyhow, uh, the reason for this video today is I'm on the trail of why I'm using so much electrical power. Remember I did a video a while ago there about how to read a power meter? The reason I do that is because the first of every month I read my meter just to, you know, satisfy my own curiosity if nothing else. And I discovered there in the first of January that uh, at one point I used, and get this, this is, I'm not lying when I say this, and I'm not proud either, I used 90 kilowatt hours in one day. Would you believe that? 90. Boy, I know factories don't use that much power. But anyway, today I'm hot on the trail of what's up, why I'm using so much power. So come on with me, I want to show you something. We're gonna go for a walk down here by the lake. And in order to do that, I have to traverse some snow banks and things like that there, but just bear with me. In the summertime, this is a nice little uh, trail I have going down through here, but it doesn't look much like a trail right now. It's kind of <laughs> been neglected since the winter set in. Anyway, we're heading down to the lake. What a day, eh? Other than it being cold, I'd have to rate this as a pretty darn nice day. Oh. What do we got here? Did you see that little fellow running in there? There's a squirrel down there underneath my boat ramp. Which, by the way, if you look at the boat ramp, oh, there goes the squirrel. If you look at the boat ramp, she's kind of in disarray. Uh, the tail end of my boat ramp still sits in the lake water, in, in not, not in the lake water, in the water of the lake. It's submerged, so when I put my boat in, it just floats on that, and then I haul it up on the ramp. Well, the ice got it and it kind of splayed one of the legs there a little bit. But anyway, that can be fixed. Let's just uh, have a look around here on the lake, see what's going on. Not a lot of activity. Lots of times, you know, we used to get uh, skidoers and whatnot on the lake. Sometimes we'd see deer. Sometimes even coyotes would have a little parade going up and down the lake, but it's been pretty quiet this winter. Other than squirrels. <laughs> you know, in the summertime, when the lake is open, there's always something going on. The water's rippling, or you know, something that's always moving. But in the wintertime, it's so still, eh? It's so still. Calm, flat, tranquil. Nice. Nice. I like the winter better than the summer, actually. Hard to believe, eh? So, anyway, getting back to why I have no power. Down here at the lake, of course, I have a boathouse. Well, not of course. I'm lucky to have a boathouse. Uh, called a boathouse. We don't have, well, I guess there's a canoe in it. But anyway, I built this mainly to house the uh, summertime stuff. <laughs> but I put an outside tap on it. And can you notice what's going on there? Isn't that pretty? A nice sculpture. <laughs> what happened was, uh, my valve here, it's one of those hydrant valves, eh? it was inside the building, into the warm of the building, and uh, it's, then you shut it off and it keeps the water from freezing. Well, as you can see there, I can't shut it off. I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, I noticed yesterday that the water was flowing out of this continuous, and it made that nice little frozen waterfall. But I managed to shut the water off, but while I was inside looking at it, I noticed something else. So come on in, I want to show you this. <laughs> sticker time again. Boys, oh boys, you know I love sticker time. If you have a sticker that you would like to have on my wall, I'd like to have it on my wall too. So get in touch with me. My email address will be in the about page. 
if you go on the about page you have to go down that little box there and click access email address and it'll ask you if you're a robot just say you're not and it'll get my email address and then you can send me your mail your mailing information and I can send you a nice Grampy's workshop sticker and then if you have one you can send it back to me so sticker time I love it I got a letter this week from across the pond from my old buddy garden tractor boy Joseph that garden tractor boy Joseph and his dad Ian have a great channel and uh, they work on Boland's tractors. They have more Boland's tractors than uh, Heinz have pickles. Look at that. There's a nice little sticker. There's one of them. Garden Tractor Boy, Joseph and Ian. And they work on Boland's tractors. And they do a really nice job. Uh, anyway, Joseph sent me this little note. And it says, uh, Dear Mike and Nanny. <laughs> Nanny like that, Joseph. <laughs> I really enjoy watching your videos and I always look forward to seeing your projects. Thank you so much for supporting my channel for such a long time. I really enjoy reading your comments and suggestions. A lot of people have requested stickers so I have uh, only a few and I've only been able to enclose one of each design. If you would like more let me know and I will send them out once we have them printed. Best wishes Joseph and his dad Ian. Well Joseph I'm telling you these two stickers are just dandy as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm only going to put one on my wall because I want to save the other one for, I don't know, maybe my toolbox or something. So I think I'm going to put this guy here up on my wall. So now the fun part, peeling the back off it. I'm doing this without glasses too, mind you. There's probably a trick to it, but anyways, we got it. So, Joseph, I'm going to put you right here, pal. You know, this is a great channel, Joseph's channel. He does, like I say, he and his dad do a lot of work on Boland's tractors. Uh, I sure appreciate it if you went over to, to Joseph's channel, Garden Tractor Boy, and showed him a little support, because what he does on those tractors is just outstanding, and he's just a young fella, and it's so great that he's learned so much about how to look after equipment and maintain equipment. And you can see in the comments and what he's doing, doing now on tractors that he's really thinking outside of just you know, loosening a nut, tightening a bolt. He's thinking about why is that part this way? Why do they do it that way? How come we don't try this? You know, he's got a very inquisitive mind. I think he's going to be a pretty smart fellow when he gets, you know, more mature. <laughs> so thanks, Joseph, for the sticker. And like I say, I would love to have more stickers on my wall. So get in touch and I'll send you some. So I'm not sure how good you're going to see this, but uh, in the boathouse here I have this little bench that's built. This, all you can see is the top of it, but it is a bench. And this top lifts up. And under this is where I have my pump. So we'll just set that up there. Okay, uh, in this dugout part here, uh, I have my pump. And also behind me here, you can't see it, but there's a, an electric baseboard heater. It's a 500 watt. And this little cavity is insulated and it keeps everything from freezing. I shut my water off here yesterday to the outside faucet. But if you can hear that dripping, uh, the line that comes from the pump to the pressure switch is leaking water. So that means my pump is still running, and up until yesterday it was running continuous. Now it was running continuous since before Christmas, and here it is, it's about a month ago, right? But So it's been running continuous for about a month. When I feel the pump it's still pretty warm. So this little drip of leak, of, uh, leak that I have here that's dripping all the time, that's still con c allowing the uh, the pump to, to kick in and start every once in a while. So what I have to do is disable my pump. So I'm going to turn off all the power. I have a main shut off here. I'm going to open up this box. What I'm going to do in the box here, if you can make out, I'm going to disconnect the, the wire, the cable that goes to my pump.
there. So those are the two wires that feed my pump. Now if I turn this on, my heater should still work. Okay, so I have those wires disconnected. I'm just going to leave them like that. They're dead now. Nothing else can happen. So we'll just leave it like that and uh, we should be good. So now we just close this again. There. Close up good and tight. So that should keep my pump from running now for sure. The uh, that little leak that I had on the line going to the pressure switch was causing the pressure to drop in the pump and then of course it would drop down eventually and the pump would start. It would take a long time but still it would start. I don't use this pump in the winter so having that disabled is not a big deal. So hopefully my power bill will be back down normal. Yes sir, nice day. Good to get that fixed. Alright, let's go back up to the camp. There we are. Back up in civilization again. <laughs> so yeah, I was glad to see that, the, or glad to find that that's what was causing my power drain. Good to get that fixed. Well, it's nice to find out what was the big current draw there, running that pump 24-7. <laughs> it certainly wasn't a help, was it? So anyways, we got that fixed up. A little bit of work to do down there in the spring now, but uh, we can get at that when the weather's warmer and it's nicer and easier to work. So thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. I hope if you have problems with large power bills, you can find the source of your problems too. Take care folks, we'll talk to you. So Dave from RCAF Polar Express asked about uh, maybe trying this. Everyone try this from around the country just to see what the different results are. So I just want to show you here, it's well below minus 30. Something wrong with that thermometer. I don't think it's that cold because the temperature I measured was minus 26. But what we're going to do is try this little experiment for Dave. Salut Dave, c'est pour toi mon ami. L'eau chaude et l'air c'est très froid. Alors, regarde. Pas trop mal, hein?